Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about hormone replacement therapy and treating hormone replacement therapy with the use of injections of testosterone. In this brief video, I'm going to discuss the symptoms of low testosterone, how the diagnosis is made, the treatment options, and specifically focus on use of injections for the management of low testosterone. Let's begin by discussing the symptoms of low testosterone. Men who complain of low testosterone often report lethargy, lack of in energy, falling asleep after meals, especially after the dinner meal, loss of muscle mass, loss of sex drive, decrease in their sexual performance, and loss of bone mineral density. Now, how is the diagnosis of low testosterone made? It's usually by a history of the symptoms I have previously described, and then it is as simple as a blood test to test for the level of testosterone in the bloodstream. The treatment options for low testosterone in men who have completed their families consists of injections of testosterone, the application of a topical gel to the skin, or the use of pellets that of testosterone that are placed underneath the skin in the area of the buttocks. So let's talk about specifically injection therapy for the management of low T. This usually consists of an injection of testosterone every one to two weeks and the testosterone is usually testosterone cypionate or testosterone enanthony. How is the injection of testosterone accomplished. Usually this can be done what I describe as self-injection therapy where the man injects the testosterone into his own arm and buttocks. He will be given a vial of testosterone, a syringe with a needle, and he will be instructed on how much of the liquid to draw into the syringe. The, syri the bottle is cleaned with alcohol. The cap is removed. The testosterone is then pulled into the syringe, either to the 1 or 1.5 cc mark. The needle is removed and then the injection takes place either into the arm or into the buttocks. I recommend pushing the needle into the muscle about three quarters of the way, pull back to make sure that there is no blood returning and then deposit the medicine into the muscle. Then cleanse the area afterwards with a alcohol swab. The risk and complications associated with injection therapy are slight pain and discomfort. Rarely can there be a collection of blood underneath the skin called a hematoma and very, very uncommon is to develop an infection. The follow-up of testosterone injection therapy consists of a symptom check to see how the lethargy, the libido, the uh, energy performance, uh, the muscle mass has returned to normal. Also usually required is a blood test to check on the testosterone level that is now in the normal range. And then every six months get a blood count which can elevate the uh, red blood cells uh, in the man and check to see that this is not a situation and a PSA test to check for prostate cancer at least every six months to a year. 
So in summary, testosterone deficiency is a common problem affecting millions of men. Diagnosis is easily made with a history and a blood test to check for a low level of testosterone. Treatment consists of self-injection therapy, topical gels, or use of pellets of testosterone placed beneath the skin. I believe injections are the easiest treatment with minimal or no complications. I hope you have found this video on the use of testosterone self-injection therapy helpful. If you have any questions, I recommend that you go to my website, www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.